As legend has it, thousands of years ago, a deity descended from the heavens and asked two mountains for a place to spend the night. With its great summit and almost perfect cone, Mount Fuji refused, believing with pride and arrogance that it does not need the deity's blessings. Mount Tsukuba, on the other hand, humbly welcomed the honored guest, even offering food and water. Today, Mount Fuji is a cold, lonely, and barren mountain. While Mount Tsukuba bursts with vegetation and is filled with colors as the seasons change. I am Giselle and today we are going to climb the Twin Peaks of Mount Tsukuba, a mountain believed to give marital blessing and much making. Mount Tsukuba can be accessed from Akihabara Station in Tokyo via the Tsukuba Express train that will take you about 45 minutes to get to Tsukuba Station. From there, take a bus bound for Mount Tsukuba that would take another 40 minutes. As for me, it will be a one-hour drive. Climbing Mount Tsukuba can be done in different ways. The easy way which is via the ropeway or cable car. Or the hard, old-fashioned way of hiking your way to the top through different trails. As a novice climber myself, I opt for the shorter trail which is the Miyuki Gahara course. This trail starts from Mount Tsukuba Shrine, passing through the Miyuki Gahara, before climbing the first peak of Nantai-san which literally means male body. Next, return to the Miyuki Gahara and take the San and Rakuro Trail to get to the other peak of Nyotaisan, which means, you've guessed it, female body. From there, take the ropeway down to Tsutujigaokai Station and ride the bus going back to Tsukuba Station. Well, in my case, a bus going back to my car. Mount Tsukuba Shrine can be found at the foot of the mountain, which boasts its history of over 3,000 years. Since then, the mountain had been considered as a sacred place throughout history. Though there are smaller shrines at both peaks, the main hall is at the foot of the mountain. This is where the main hiking trails up the mountain begin.
climbing the mountain is not too difficult. It takes time, but it shouldn't hurt your back and knees. Make sure to replenish your fluids with some fruits and water. Arriving at the Miyukigahara. This is where the cable car stops. Food shops and restaurants can also be found here, as well as the observatory tech that offers a panoramic view. autumn is almost over, the temperature at the top can get colder this time of the year. From here, it is only 15 minutes to the first peak, Mount Nantai which is 871 meters high. Mount Nantai is a bit steep and rocky. At the peak, there is a small shrine and souvenir shop. View is a bit limited here and not so much good vantage point. To get to the other peak, we just had to go back to Miyukigahara and from there, it will also take 15 minutes. Mount Nyotai, which is a bit higher at 877 meters, is a longer but gentler slope. this path, you will come across the Gamaishi, a frog-shaped rock that was said that if you can throw a stone into its mouth, you will be lucky with the magic. The peak can be a bit crowded during this season. But once you get there, the views are very rewarding. Mount Antai, there is 
also a shrine in Mount Nyotai. The ropeway is just a few steps down and it will take you to the bus station headed back to Tsukubai Station. What better way to end a cold and tiring hike than with a warm bowl of ramen? An impressive shrine at the foot of the mountain, a unique two-peak hike with a cable car and ropeway. Mount Tsukuba is a lovely and exciting hike and a must side trip from Tokyo. I'm Giselle and join me again next time as we go see Japan.